Hi everybody. Today I am going to discuss about dot product of two vectors. Let's move ahead to see how it works. Scalar product of two vectors. Product is scalar. And it is denoted by A dot B. And another important thing is the result will be a scalar but not a vector. So we have to keep in our mind whenever we do a scalar product i mean having two vectors a and b if we do a dot b then right away what are the results we got it will be a scalar quantity here i have drawn two vectors a and B. As we know, line segment as well as arrow, it indicates a vector. So A is a vector, B is a vector. So in between these two vectors, I kept angle theta. So to make relation between these two vector in terms of dot products equation will be as this a dot b equal to magnitude of a and then magnitude of b cos theta and this formula we will use it in next slides so we have to memorize this a dot b equal to magnitude of a multiplied by magnitude of b then multiplied by cos theta here i have taken two vectors and it is unit vectors for two dimensional we have two unit vectors i and j i it works on i mean along x axis and j works on along y axis and their modulus is one it means their magnitude is one so these two vectors i kept here sketches like i showed here two vectors i and i unit vectors along x-axis are in parallel so what will be their dot products so if it is i dot i this dot product it will be 1 because this cos theta it means it is 0 degree because it is parallel and cos 0 means 1 so this unit vectors dot product gives result 1 it is a scalar same way zz dot product they are parallel it is also giving because magnitude 1 1 already we wrote here modulus is 1 so cos theta it comes 1 but if we keep these two vectors i and j at an angle 90 degrees 
So what will be their dot products? It is important. Here I have shown i dot z in place of cos theta it will be cos 90 and we know that cos 90 is 0. So automatically total results will be 0. Instead this ij if you I mean or if I put here j dot k having angle 90 so it will be also 0. Here I have taken two vectors. You can see it here a equal to a i i a to j and b equal to b1 i plus b2 j. So there are two vectors. Here it was asked to find the scalar product of two vectors. So right here we understand by this sentence that scalar product of two vectors means we have to find a dot b. So a dot b it will be equal to very simple way this portion it will multiply this whole area I mean whole these two figures so it will be like this and then this one will multiply this so it will be looking like this more simplifications we get this so here we need to see one important things that what are the situations of the unit vectors so look at the first term it is i dot i so we know i dot i result is one so this value is exist what about i dot z it means it is at 90 degree and the result will be zero so this is cancelled i dot j also zero it is cancelled so j dot j it is one so this term exists so our result will be this term and this term that's why it came dot product a1 b plus a2 b2 we have to memorize this now scalar product of two vectors it is vector of 3d because working on x-axis y-axis and z-axis because three directions we got the unit vectors i j k so if we multiply these so answer will be same as this but one additional term will be this one so a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 b3 same procedure to be followed to get these results it's very easy here i was asked to do scalar product of two vectors so two vectors are given here one is u another is v so scalar product of two vectors it means dot product of u and v so same procedure a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 b3 we get 22 that's all for this one slightly different here it was asked to find the angle between the vectors so we know a dot b this is scalar product equal to in the right hand side there is cos theta this one right hand side there is cos theta so easily we can find the angle so what we will do next 
So from this equation, we can find the equation like this, theta equal to cos inverse this. Then a dot b, we have to follow the same way to get the results. That's what we got, minus 1. And a absolute, magnitude of a, magnitude of b. So we got this. So theta equal to cos inverse minus 1 divided by 3 square root of 3 equal to 101.1 degree. And you can do these calculations by calculator. Here I want to mention one thing. Sometimes it is asked to prove that the angle between these two vectors are 90 degree. Or it may be asked, can you prove that the, these two vectors are at right angles? Then it is very easy to find because you have to follow the same procedure. Only the difference, what you will get? Your result. Your result theta will be 90 degree then you can tell these two vectors are at right angles. That's all. Here is slightly different than what we discussed in previous slides. Here, if we look at this figure, you can see we have here two vectors, B vectors and N vectors. The difference is I make here one perpendicular from this B to on this. So it is projected. So projections. From this point, one perpendicular is drawn on this vector. That is the main point here to start discussions. So the thing is, what will be the scalar projections of this vector on this n? This is first question. Second question, what will be the vector projections of this vector on this n. So there is two questions. One is a scalar projection, another is vector projections. So first we discussed about the scalar projections of this vector onto n. Onto n, scalar projections. So it means these distance OC it is the scalar projections of B on to N. In other way, I can say it is magnitude. So how to find this? We know this OC equal to B cos theta. Absolute B cos theta. Because if we know the base and the hypotenuse, so we know that from trigonometry we know cos theta equal to this base divided by hypotenuse. Then making cross multiply, we get this OC equal to B cos theta. Now this cos theta, we get equations from here. This portion divided by this portion. So that's what I wrote here. Now cancelling these two we get B dot N divided by magnitude of N vector. So we have to memorize this whenever we are asked to find the scalar projections of a B. I mean scalar projections of vector B on other vector. Here on other vector means N where we drawn on what we draw the perpendicular. So you have to keep in your mind. So this OC distance, it is the scalar projections. It is magnitude. And we have to find 
this way. So it will be the dot product of these two vector divided by magnitude of this vector. Then we get the length of this OC or scalar projections or magnitude. Now we will think about second part vector projections of B. So what is vector projections of B? In other way we can say it is resolved part of vector B. How to get that? This here I have written equal to multiply the scalar projections of B by the onto the unit vector N we find. So we have to multiply this scalar projection, this value and the unit vector. If we multiply these two, we get the vector projections or result part of vector B. But the question is here in this sketch, I have shown here, this is the vector N, but you see here I put here a small arrow. A small arrow means having unit length. Why I put this? Because to show that this is the unit vector magnitude is 1. That is why I put here from this point here I put an arrow. And here also written either you can read it or not. It is written unit vector equal to n at the top I put here cap to indicate that it is the symbol of unit vector. So this unit vector to be multiplied with this one. scalar projections. So I think we understood. Now here we will do some examples to see whether we understood it well or not. Suppose here I was asked to find the resolve part of vector. This in the direction of this. So this is n. Now if you look at figure you can see this is n, this vector and this is b, this vector. So very easy way we can find OC, b cos theta, the same formula. Only the thing we have to write b vector n vector dot product. So whenever it is a dot product, we know how to get these calculations. Already previous slide we have seen that. And this is the magnitudes of this n vector. We have to take from here. So we get results 1. So OC, this magnitude is 1. So already we discussed in previous slide to get the vector projections of this vector b on n in other way i can say resolve part of the vector b we can find it like this we have to find first unit vector unit vector means vector divided by magnitude of that vector we get the unit vector so to get resolve part of vector b or vector projections of B. Already we told we have to multiply this with the unit vector. So this is one unit vector is this. So we get the result this. So more simplifications we get result in this form. Here I have taken another example. Resolve part of vector B in the direction of vector N. Same figure. Same way we found OC B cos theta. 
same formula b dot n divided by magnitude of n and putting these two vector putting the magnitude we get 4 so our oc this magnitude is 4 for getting vector projections or result part of vector b we have to multiply this with unit vector so this value already we know it is 4 unit vector we get this so multiplying these two our results comes in this form so this is the result i hope you guys understand that that's all for today and thanks for watching Oh, mm -hmm.